Hi. Today we're looking at the CGL Frogger. Purchased it off eBay. Uh, only paid three pound for it. It seems to be missing the. Um, so I think on the other ones I've seen, there's, there's supposed to be like a shroud that covers it. So obviously it stops the light from getting in. That seems to be missing. And also the uh, the battery compartment's missing. I mean, I could possibly 3D print a uh, a back compartment if somebody's got one on one of the websites. But right, we'll try some batteries in it and see if it does anything. The seller said uh, that they didn't have the batteries to test it and they didn't have the mains lead to test it, so it could be working or it could be not. Oh, it's making noises. It's making noises, but we don't appear to have anything on the display. Alright, so the processor seems to be running. But no display. Hmm, I wonder where the on off button is for this. I can see a sound on and off. And, ah, there in the middle. Right, okay. Off ELB. Right. Right, so let's take it apart and see if we can fix it. <coughs> right, what we've got? One, two, three, four. Six screws on the back. Try to escape that one. And we're in Lake Flynn. Right, it's got a rather large uh, vacuum fluorescent display there. Some random piece of paper. So I wonder if somebody's been at this before. I would have thought that would have been around the joystick or something by the look of it. Although the joystick screw does look like it's been uh, yeah, possibly removed at some point. I wonder if that was supposed to go something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure where that's supposed to be, but... Right, how do I get the board out of this then? And looks like there's a screw holding this piece of plastic that holds the display in place and then another one at the top right now I don't know if those legs are bent there on that uh, VFD here. Yeah, well, the top ones seem alright, but the bottom ones seem to be uh, slightly bent over to one side. No, let's hope it's not the, the VFD. I right, tell you what, I shall see if I can tape the batteries in so we've got some power. And then we'll check for some voltages and things. Right, so I've got some batteries taped in it now. I'll put that meet on to voltage I'll switch it on <coughs> all right let's try some of these diodes so I've got a minus 28 there 
I'll tell you, that's how you must be grounding. Minus 32. I'll tell you what. Let's put that together so you can see a bit better. Right. Minus 28. Minus 32. And a minus 12. Minus 25. Hmm. Now I'll just switch it off. I'm just going to diode check. We'll just check some of these diodes are all right. Really a lot, not really a lot in this. I guess that, uh, what's that there? That transistor. Uh, I guess that's probably the main switching transistor for this transformer here. Well, there doesn't seem to be any shorter diodes or anything. See some of those pins looked a bit bent there. Oh, the top ones look all right. It's just these bottom ones here. Yeah, I see a couple of them look slightly bent. Let's bring that a bit closer to the camera there. Now I'm just looking at that first pin there. I'm just going to see if that's connected still. Ah, oh, that first pin's moving. I think that's broke off. Uh, now I wonder if I can... It's got like a, a resin type of stuff on there. I wonder if I can get me uh, a little tool here. If we can maybe scrape away some of the stuff on here. See a bit of a contact there now. I wonder if it's worth doing the next one as well. Right. I'll get a bit of IP on that and give that a bit of a clean up. See if I can sort of those two. I'm just going to get a bit of a closer view with a, a magnifying glass here. Yeah, I think both of those uh, pins are broke. And if not, it's uh, not far away from being broke. those are just some kind of uh, where well, they're just pushed up against it and then glued into place or something right let's see if we can get some solar on those and find some flux and we'll get a bit solar and we'll see if we can uh, 
I don't know how well this will sold that. Oh, we'll show up, find out. Oh, future not like makes it be so bad. Seems the actual pin is uh, harder to solder than the actual VFD, which I'm a bit surprised at. Aha! That looks like it. Let's turn the light off a sec. Yes. Obviously I can't play because there's no joystick or anything connected, but yeah, that seems to actually be working now. So I think what we'll do, we'll give it a bit of a clean up. Um, I'll reassemble it and then uh, we'll give it a test. So yeah, it looks like that uh, pin was broken at the uh, bottom of the display there. Right then. Now, did this one go at the bottom or the top? Give that a bit of a clean. Well, something's been spilled on it in a former life, maybe. So it looks a little bit rusty down there. I'm not sure if there's been something spilled down here by looking at it. And I still didn't work out where the uh, Bit of paper went. I'm just wondering whether it went over the. Uh... No, I'm not sure. We'll just leave that bit out then. Right. The top of the joystick. Switch cups. Yeah, I wonder if that bit of paper did go in in there. No, the spring would be in the way, so we'll just leave it. Right. Oh, I've got a load of screws left. I must have missed something out here. Yes, the ones for the circuit board.
It doesn't feel right that one. I'll try one in here. Actually there wasn't wasn't any screws in there was there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that was it. That was just the two there because those two ones here hold the rest of the circuit board in. I don't know why they had some extra screw holes there. two screws go I think they possibly went under the battery compartment so I'll have to wait to put those in uh, we'll give the screen a quick wipe over this is quite grubby Thing's quite uh, the whole thing's quite grubby to be quite honest with you. Right, so I might give that a bit of a better clean up later on. Right, we'll turn the light off and we'll give it a go. So sound on and we'll try game A. Played this as you can probably tell. Well, there we have it. Repairing a CGL Frogger. Well, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.